It's a good problem to have. You want to buy a new sports car, but you want more poke than either a Mazda MX-5 or Subaru BRZ, Toyota 86 can offer. You can't be front-wheel drive, and your budget rules out more expensive euros from the likes of Audi, BMW, or Mercedes-Benz. So, what are your options? Well, at a smidge under $60,000, you could choose one of these two, the reimagined pony car itself, the Ford Mustang, or the familiar Nissan 370Z. Here we go then. USA vs Japan. The cars. We all know that Nissan 370Z is far from being the newest kid on the block, it was unveiled at the 2008 Los Angeles Motor Show. But it's also the only sports car offered by the Japanese brand, outside of the circa dollar 200k GTR. Blending classic coupe styling with good proportions and lovingly pumped guards, the 370Z is muscular without being larry or overly aggressive. Its tiny rear spoiler and aerial free roof keep things clean, while its F1 style central rear fog light, dual exhausts, and red painted front and rear brake calipers add touches of sportiness. The new Ford Mustang first arrived locally in early 2016, building interest and hopes with its combination of a 5.0-liter V8, limited slip rear differential, and long-awaited, read, needed, employment of independent rear suspension, IRS. As eye-catching as it is, it's often best not to look too closely at a Mustang. Sean Pipano gaffs and inconsistent shut lines are easily noticeable upon closer inspection, and while the bonnet strikes, scallop roof, and muscle car guards look the part, the hard and scratchy black plastic front lip, side skirts, and rear garnish are a way off being high quality. The flagship Mustang's rear GT badge, dual exhausts, clear tail lights, body colored rear diffuser, and Brembo front calipers, however, are arguably better highlights. Importantly for this test though, both cars have two doors, a big, naturally aspirated engine up front, and exclusively send drive to their rear wheels. So it's game on.